News Nation travel editor, Peter Greenberg. Uh, happy holiday to you, Peter. How you doing? I'm doing okay, Marty. Sending you greetings from the middle of the Pacific Ocean off the coast of Santa Cruz Island in the Galapagos. Oh, are you swimming with turtles? What's on the weekend agenda? <laughs> Absolutely swimming with turtles and swimming with sea lions and swimming with you, oh. name, you name it, even penguins. Incredible, incredible. All right. So for those of us who are um, on the mainland, um, any issues that you're hearing about travel so far in the skies? No, it's of course weather dependent, but right now it seems everything seems to be okay. But the real interesting indication is not the number of people the TSA is screening, it's what's going to happen after Monday. Because even though they're going to screen about 2.86 million people today, the busiest day, a lot of people are staggering their departures. That will be helpful on the way back. But the most interesting indication is forward-looking travel. It's going to be down. You're going to see airfares start to plummet starting on Wednesday. Demand is completely dropping off the, chat, the charts. And the reason for that is twofold. One, we're in an election year. People tend to stay home in the last two or three months before an election, especially every four years. And the second thing is... They've gotten their credit card bills for all the travel they've done in the first eight months of this year, and it's not a pretty picture. And a lot of them are not paying their bills in full every month, which means they're getting it with 25% interest. You know what? That's another reason for them to defer their travel for the for the rest of this year. So you're going to see demand drop, capacity stay at the same level, which means a lot of empty seats, a lot of empty hotel rooms, not just in this country, but overseas as well. So if you've been a good person and paid your bill in full every month, it's about to become a buyer's market for you for the rest of this year. Oh, that's good. Deals to be had. What's the best day? I know there's always tricks to the trade to, to search for flights to find those deals. The best day, believe it or not, used to be Tuesday night at midnight. That's no longer the case. It's now any time on Sunday afternoon. That's when the airlines adjust their fares again. Remember, they're adjusting their fares over 250,000 times a day. So timing is critical. Oh, interesting. Um, how about, I've been reading about this United Airlines uh, possible strike with the flight attendants. How might that impact service? It won't, and I'll tell you why. Because when you're dealing with transportation workers, a different federal law applies. Right now, they're going through mediation. And even though the flight attendants voted by a 99% margin to authorize a strike, that doesn't mean they can go on strike. They have to go through mediation first. Then there's a 30-day cooling off period. Then there's arbitration. And even if that doesn't work and they call a strike, the president has in his toolbox the opportunity to declare an emergency and issue an executive order and order them back to work. This happened, by the way, more than 30 years ago when President Clinton did it, when American Airlines pilots wanted to strike. So we're nowhere near a walk-off yet. Alicia was just talking about record travel this weekend. What's the biggest mistake, Peter, that people hitting the road or the skies make on a holiday weekend? It's when to leave. Not when to arrive, when to leave. And there are a number of applications out there that help you out. You know, Waze will actually give you the best possible time to leave in your car, and they'll update it. Uh, the other thing is this. We all talk about the first flight of the day. That's always a good idea. But take the first flight of the day on an airline not based at your airport. That means that plane came in the night before. It overnighted with the crew. You have a reasonably good chance of being the first one out the next day, not only on the plane, but with the crew on the plane, too. Yeah, take it from the expert. Uh, you know, hey, send me a picture when you're swimming with the sea lions. Love to see it. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll try not to be the sea lion. That's right. Make friends, make friends. All right. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.